The future of vehicles is clearly a decarbonized future. The generally prevailing approach is to convert the world fleet to battery electric vehicles. But not everyone sees the same future. Toyota sees a role for hydrogen powertrains. So what does this mean for the future of electric vehicles? What does it mean for legacy automakers like Ford and General Motors? What does it mean for Tesla? What does it mean for the future of transportation? What does it mean for the US economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into that, please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Almost every major car maker has committed to electric vehicles within 10 years. Some US states have banned gasoline cars starting in 2035. But, some automakers are resisting the change to an all-electric fleet. Toyota, for example, is preparing for a hydrogen-powered future. It is developing hydrogen-powered vehicles in both fuel cell electric and combustion versions. Combustion hydrogen engines have been talked about for years but only recently developed. Most hydrogen powertrain development has focused on fuel cell electric vehicles. Toyota thinks that hydrogen can be used in combustion engines. A Toyota Yaris with a hydrogen combustion engine was recently demonstrated by Toyota. Based on this demonstration model, several Tier 1 suppliers are taking hydrogen seriously. One such example is BorgWarner. BorgWarner specializes in turbochargers for gasoline-powered vehicles. BorgWarner also develops and sells a line of electric drive motors for electric vehicles. They are also developing a complete lineup of accessories for hydrogen combustion motors. This includes a fueling subsystem and an engine control unit. Another example is Riken, a company that sells piston components for gasoline-powered cars. Riken is also investing in hydrogen. A new dedicated hydrogen engine research facility was also built by Riken in Japan. And there are other large companies investing in a hydrogen combustion future. Cummins is developing hydrogen components for heavy trucks. Rolls-Royce is working on hydrogen-powered jet engines. Yamaha is creating a hydrogen powertrain for motorcycles. Toyota has been a bit of a lone wolf among big automakers in its commitment to hydrogen. Fuel cell electric vehicles have already been developed and sold by Toyota. Toyota sees a future in which hydrogen replaces gasoline and diesel for many vehicles. The problem with combustion motors isn't the combustion itself, but rather the carbon byproduct of burning fossil fuels, said Toyota chairman Akio Toyota. That's why hydrogen, which emits an almost negligible amount of carbon, is the perfect solution, continued Toyota's. The biggest obstacle to widespread adoption of hydrogen is refueling. Hydrogen vehicles suffer from a chicken and egg problem, just as electric cars do. Even if the technology was ready for prime time, the fueling infrastructure is not ready. That considerable investment has already been made in electric car chargers. Proponents of hydrogen are banking on government-funded programs to build the necessary infrastructure. But for vehicles that need rapid refueling, hydrogen is probably the best carbon-free alternative. BorgWarner, which focuses on heavy trucks, could be an early success story. That is because infrastructure for commercial vehicles could be easier to build sooner. Still, Toyota seems to be successful in recruiting a team of like-minded companies. So we could eventually see the hydrogen car experience the same success as the electric car. Toyota simply does not think battery electric vehicles are the only solution for achieving carbon neutrality. It will participate in the electric vehicle business and has set a goal to produce 3.5 million electric cars by 2030. That would amount to over one-third of its model lineup at that time. But rivals Ford and General Motors have promised to convert their product lines exclusively to electric vehicles by 2035. About 20 years ago, Toyota was crowned as the preferred carmaker of environmentalists and eco-conscious consumers when it introduced the Prius Hybrid. The Prius is an electrified car that was about the cleanest and most fuel-efficient car ever sold. Then, as gas prices rose, demand for hybrids took off and many automakers began to offer them. But the Toyota Prius is still among the most fuel-efficient, gas-powered cars in the US. Now with legacy automakers transitioning to all-electric product lines, Toyota has fallen out of favor. General Motors, Ford, Volkswagen, and other legacy automakers have committed to investing billions to develop battery electric cars. Toyota has dragged its feet in committing to investments in electric vehicles. Toyota prefers to invest in a portfolio of electrified vehicles. 
This includes traditional hybrids like the Prius as well as the new BZ4X electric crossover. Regardless, Toyota has kept its commitment to be carbon neutral by 2050. Toyota executives claim that not all areas of the world will adopt electric vehicles. This is because of the high cost of electric vehicles and the lack of infrastructure. Toyota announced plans to invest $28 billion in a lineup of 30 battery-powered electric cars by 2030. And it is keeping up its investment in hybrid electric vehicles like the Prius. Toyota also announced an investment of $5.6 billion for hybrid and all-electric battery production in the United States and Japan. But it is far less than the investment from General Motors and Volkswagen. General Motors has set a goal to exclusively sell zero-emissions cars by 2035. Other major automakers announced similar plans and targeted for their U.S. sales to be more than 50% electric by 2035. Worldwide total vehicle sales for Toyota in 2021 was 10.5 million vehicles. Those cars were sold in approximately 200 countries. That is more than any other car maker in the world. Volkswagen, by comparison, sold 8.9 million vehicles in 153 countries. General Motors sold 6.3 million vehicles. All electric vehicles are one solution, not the solution, for the company's goal to become carbon neutral, Toyota said in a statement. In the distant future, I'm not investing assuming that battery electrics are 100% of the market. I just don't see it, said Jim Adler, founding managing director Toyota Ventures. It really will be a mixed market, Adler added. Toyota expects different areas of the world to adopt electric vehicles at varying rates, continued Adler. Available energy, infrastructure and raw materials needed for the batteries to power the vehicles, Adler also said. The batteries used to power electric vehicles are extremely costly, and the prices continue to increase. Prices of essential materials such as lithium, cobalt and nickel have skyrocketed in the past year. Toyota also claims that there just aren't enough rare earth minerals to go around. What do you think? Please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.